So in this video, we will discuss how to automate repetitive tasks using Pavli Connect. So automation is a very effective way to improve your efficiency in your work, whether it's your business or your other works. Now guys, how automation works? Let's take a simple example. Suppose you are using a CRM application like Pipedrive to get the leads, to store your leads. And you also want to store or add those same leads into a Google Sheet. Now till now, you were using the manual process. You were getting the new lead details manually from Google Pipedrive and you were manually adding that data into the Google Sheet. And what if I tell you, you can completely automate this process. Using Pavli Connect, you can automatically add whenever a new lead is added in Pipedrive, you can automatically add that new lead details into a Google Sheet as well. Interesting, right? Now, this is just a simple, small example. Basically, you can manage or automate a different, a various prospect of your business. Let's discuss what are these. We will discuss this PyDrap and Google Sheet automation in the later part of this video that how you can set up this simple automation using Pavli Connect. But what are the other use cases? Use cases like online form automation. So you can automate your form submission responses and you can add that form submission, online form submission data received from your customers or users into some other applications using Pavli Connect. Next thing is alert confirmation on WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is a great way to improve the or increase the personal touch with your customers. So you can also do that with Pavli Connect. Next thing is sending payment updates and confirmations. So using Pavli Connect, you can use a payment gateway to get the payments and you can use another service SMS or WhatsApp or email service to send the confirmation or update notification to your customer. The next thing is your social media game, the social media posting and blog posting. You can completely schedule your social media post and blog post using Public Connect as well. The next thing is e-commerce abandoned cart reminder. So e-commerce store users are always tired of abandoned carts. So using Public Connect, you can send the reminders to your customers regarding their abandoned cart and you can convince them to recover their sales. Also guys, the event registration. Suppose you are hosting some kind of event and you are using online forms or some online method to get the registration. Either it can be a payment gateway that they make the payment for their tickets and get it. So you can basically use automation and Pavli Connect in that process as well. Let's move to the next part and that is the customer support. So in customer support, basically you can use automation like you can get the tickets and you can assign those tickets or customer issues to your team members equally. So like for example, you will get the first issue, you will assign to one team member. The second issue will be assigned to the second team member, third issue to the third team member. Again, if you get the fourth issue, you can assign that again into the first team member. So using this kind of, for example, round robin lead assignment algorithms, you can set up in Pavli Connect as well. The next thing is invoice payment or payment reminders. So sending payment reminders to your customers on the regular basis, on a weekly or monthly basis can be very much repetitive task for you. And it also affects your business a lot. So using Pavli Connect, you can also automate this payment reminder process as well. The next thing is receipt and invoices. So after reminding the customer, the customer makes a payment. But the next challenge is creating the invoices or receipts of that payment. So guys, you can basically automate your payment gateway and create the receipts and uh, online invoices of your payments which you receive for your business. Next thing is file backup. So storing your files or data is also important and storing at one place can be a risky. So using Pavli Connect, you can set up automation that whenever you get a new file in some one application, you can basically add the backup of that same file in some other application. For example, if you get a file in a new file in your Google Drive, you can basically automatically sync that with OneDrive and add the same file in OneDrive as well. If you get a new file, a new attachment on your Gmail via email, you can also save that same attachment file into your Google Drive as well. It's interesting, right? The next thing is manage calendar events. So suppose if you are using some kind of online calendar or event management application or tool to manage all of your, all of your important events. So you can actually using Pavli Connect, you can get alerts regarding your upcoming events as well. The next and the last point for this video will be a birthday or anniversary wishes to your customer. So wishing your customers their bird on their birthdays or anniversary can completely increase your personal touch with them and also the business. So using Pavli Connect, you can create or set up a complete automation process and basically you can send birthday wishes on your birthday automatically without any manual process. 
that's it for today's video guys and in this video and further in this video we will discuss the automation which we have discussed the post in this video that is the pipe drive google sheet automation so i will take you to my own screen and tell you how easy pavli connect is and how easy it is to set up an automation using pavli connect that too without any coding skills and programming knowledge so let's go to my screen and understand how the pipe drive and google sheet automation you can create so first we will go to a browser and search for P -A -B -B -L -Y, pavli .com connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just 2 minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I'll click on sign in and sign in to my own Pavli Connect account. After signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pavli. Here we have to click on access now below Pavli Connect. And now as we click on access now, we will reach to Public Annex dashboard. After reaching this dashboard, we just have to click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name this workflow as the example, the application which we are using in this video. So just for an example, we are taking pipe drive and Google Sheets. So we want that whenever a new lead is added in our pipe drive account, automatically the deals of the details of that lead should be added in our Google Sheet. So let me name this app uh, automation workflow as pipe drive to google sheets and let's click on create now as we click on create we can see that our workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows first one is trigger window second one is action window so triggers and actions are basically those two concepts those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this so let's begin with our trigger window so the idea here is first we have to connect our pipe drive account with Pavli connect so that every time we get a new lead in pipe drive the details of that lead should be captured inside Pavli connect as well then after that using Pavli connect we will send that same new lead de details which we have received from pipe drive to google sheet so that we can maintain a record over there as well so this is a type of example automation which we are going to do or we are, we are going to create in this video so here in trigger application in choose app we have to search for pipe drive pipe drive it is and after that in trigger event from the drop down we have to select new lead after that just click on connect and select add new connection now here guys we have to connect our pipe drive account with Pavli connect and to make this connection we require the api token of our pipe drive account now here you must be thinking what is this API token and how you are going to get this. So to get the API token of your Pipedrive account, just go to your Pipedrive account. On the right side here top corner and right top corner you will see profiles option. Just click on it and after that from the drop down click on personal preference. Now as you click on personal preference here you can see some options that is accounts, your companies and API. Just click on API and after clicking on API, you can see your personal API token of your pipe drive account over here. Just copy this token from here, go to public correct and paste it over here. And after that, just click on save. Now as we click on save, we can see that our pipe drive account is now got successfully got connected with public connect. Then we have to click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, the details of the latest, most recently added lead in our pipe drive account will be captured inside Pavli Connect. So before clicking on save and send test requests, let's create a test lead, a dummy lead in pipe drive. So once again, we'll go to pipe drive, we'll go to lead section and let's click on add new lead. Let's give this lead a name, for example, dummy name. This is the name of the person, for example, dummy name. Organization is, for example, Pavli. Okay, so the title of this lead should be, for example, New Pavli Lead. Just for example, I'm giving this title. The value of this lead or the deal is, for example, 999 Indian rupees. Let's give the label as, for example, hot. Then visibility, we don't have, want to change the visibility. Then the phone number. Let's enter a dummy phone number as well. And also a dummy email address. Okay, so this is the email address. So just now we have entered the details of a test user, a dummy user over here. Let's click on save and add this lead into a pipe drive account. 
And yes, we have successfully created a new lead in Pipe Drive. And now guys, we will get back to Public Connect and we will click on Save and Send Test Request. Now as we click on Save and Send Test Request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, we will find all the details of new lead of which we have created, the recent lead which we have created in Pipe Drive few seconds ago over here. So we have the title of the lead that is for example which we have added, New Pavli Lead. Then we will scroll down, then we have the amount, amount of the deal. So we have 990 rupees in Indian currency which we have entered while creating the lead. Then we will scroll down and we will find other details of this new lead as well. So like we have the name of the person, the B name which we have added, we will scroll down, we will find the phone number as well as the email address of the person. So guys, the step one of setting up this automation is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected Pipedrive with Pavi Connect so that whenever a new lead is added in Pipedrive, we will get the details of that newly added lead in Pavi Connect as well. Now after this guys, using Pavi Connect, our goal is to our aim of this automation is to add the new lead details to Google Sheet. Now for that, we will scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose app, we will search for Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. And then in action event from the drop down, we have to select add new row. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with Google Sheets. Select your Google Sheets account. Scroll down and click on continue. And that's it guys. Now we will see that the account which we have selected is now successfully got connected with Pavli Connect as well. After making the connection, it is asking us select spreadsheet. So in the drop down below, we will see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have created in our Google Sheets account can be seen over here. So these are all the spreadsheet which I have already created in my Google Sheets account. And we have to select the spreadsheet in which we want to add this new lead details. So I have created a spreadsheet named as new leads. And in this spreadsheet, I want to add the details of all of my pipe drive lead. So we will select this spreadsheet from the drop down that is new leads. After selecting the spreadsheet, it is asking us to select the sheet. So in this spreadsheet, I have created only one sheet and it is named as sheet one. So here in the drop down below select sheet, we will select sheet one only. Then it is asking us name, email, phone number, title and amount. So basically all the columns of data which we have created in our Google sheet all of that columns can be seen over here in Pavli Connect. So here one by one, we have to add the details, add the data, which we want to add in these columns. So here guys, we want, in place of name, we wanted to add the name of the person, name of the lead. So we have received the name of the lead of the person from Pipedrive over here in Pavli Connect in our trigger window response. So from this response, we will map this same name over here in this field of name. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and from the drop down below from the responses of pipe drive, we have to select the name of the lead. So from here from the drop down, we will select the name and it is mapped. So in this way, we have simply mapped the response of the name of the person which we have received from pipe drive in our trigger window into our action window of Google Sheet. And we will follow the same process of mapping for other fields as well. Like for email, we will click here. And from the drop down from the responses of pipe drive, we will scroll down and we will map the name or email address of the lead. So this is the email address. Let's select it and map it. Follow the same process for phone number, title and amount as well. So just click here and from the drop down from the responses, select and map the phone number. So we'll scroll down and this is the phone number and map it. Let's map the title. So this is the title of the lead, new Pavli lead, which we have given and the amount. So this is the amount of the lead. Now guys, we have successfully mapped all the details of the new lead, which we have received from pipe drive into our Google Sheet Actions tab. And after mapping all of these details, let's click on save and send test request. Now, as we click on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details which we have mapped over here, basically the details of new lead added in our Pipedrive CRM is now successfully added into a Google Sheet as a new row. So let's check our Google Sheet. 
we'll go to Google Sheet. And yes, guys, here we can see that we have successfully mapped the details. We have successfully added the details of the new lead over here. So we have the same name, dummy name, which we have given to the new lead, which we have created just now in, our, in this video, in our Pipedrive CRM. Then we have the email address. This is the email address. This is the phone number of the new lead. This is the title of the lead. And this is the amount. This means, guys, the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time a new lead will be created in Pipedrive, the details of that lead will be stored in Google Sheet using Pavli Connect. So this is just a simple basic example that how what are the things you can automate with Pavli Connect. So basically, not just these applications, guys, you can automate plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And you can check out all of those applications into the integration page of Pavli Connect. Also, guys, Pavli Connect comes with a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get 100 free tasks into your own Pavli Connect account every month. So if you want to try and test your automations in your Pavli Connect account, you can basically do it for free. Also guys, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you have any doubt or queries, you can ask them on our forum and you can comment your use cases in the comment box below. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connect's pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.